Welcome to Tech Talks. Our platform edition today is focused on the newly enhanced Splunk ODBC driver that lets you visualize Splunk data in your favorite BI tool. Tech Talks are a series of short webinars focused on features and best practices within use cases. We value you, our customer, and want you to continue in your Splunk journey. Our experts help create these tips and tricks, and we want you to leverage them in your daily role. So I'm Anna Mensing, a Senior Product Marketing Manager for the Splunk platform, focusing on Splunk Enterprise, and I'm excited to share with you information about the Splunk ODBC driver and introduce my colleague, Lizzie Lee. I am Lizzie Lee. I'm the Senior Product Manager covering ODBC, dashboards, and analytics workspace. Awesome. Thanks, Lizzie. So today we're going to talk about how important it is to aggregate, analyze, and visualize data to make a decision, and to make sure the results of your analysis are communicated to the right audiences. Many, at many organizations, different audiences, particularly executive audiences, prefer to consume data from their selected BI tool. We will walk you through a demo showing how you can analyze your data in Splunk before sending it to a tool like Tableau to visualize and share with any audience using the newly enhanced Splunk ODBC driver. And then we will cover additional resources available to help you take advantage of the Splunk ODBC driver yourself. Our team will be available for Q&A throughout over the chat feature. And if you watch a recorded version of this webinar, please continue the conversation through the Splunk community website for any follow-up questions. So do you want tighter integration of Splunk in your analytics ecosystem? Many executives and business audiences prefer to consume insights through Splunk's partner business intelligence tools, such as Tableau or Power BI. After aggregating, analyzing, and visualizing in Splunk, you can use the newly enhanced Splunk ODBC driver to send your Splunk data to your BI tool of choice and empower all users to view or quickly create executive-facing visualizations using Splunk data. I would love to hand this over to Lizzie to share with you more about how we are bringing together Splunk data and partner visualization tools to enable communication and decision making throughout the organization. Thanks, Anna. As Anna mentioned, the Splunk ODBC driver allows you to send your Splunk analysis into your BI tool of choice, such as Tableau, to analyze and visualize it in the context of your other business data. This is great for non-technical or business users who predominantly use BI tools for analysis, reporting, and decision making. These users gain access to a wider range of data to help move their businesses forward. So let's walk through how this works. In Splunk, Splunk admins will set up saved searches that are then able to be accessed by BI tools such as Tableau through standard ODBC. Non-technical and business users can now access this data without having to use SPL. You can also protect sensitive machine data by controlling user access to saved searches in Splunk. And while BI tools can read the saved searches, they can never write back to Splunk. But why talk about it when we can show you what it looks like to quickly install the Splunk ODBC driver, choose the data you want to make available in Tableau, and then start visualizing in Tableau. So let me just switch over to share my screen now. So first, I want to mention that today the ODBC driver only supports Windows operating systems, and we plan to support other operating systems in the future. I also want to mention that there are two separate drivers, one for 32-bit applications and one for 64-bit applications. So this is not dependent on whether your operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit, but whether the application, in our case Tableau, is 32-bit or 64-bit. So you will want to make sure to check that out before starting your installation. The Tableau application we'll be showing today is 64-bit. So we'll be installing the 64-bit ODBC driver. The 
The installation of the Splunk ODBC driver is pretty straightforward. If you've used the previous version of the Splunk ODBC driver, you'll see that it's the exact same installation process. So here we'll click Next. Then we'll accept the terms of this agreement and click Next. We can change where the driver is installed or in this case we'll just click Next. And here is where we'll need to indicate where the target Splunk instance is and input our Splunk login credentials. Then we click Next. And that is the entire installation process. So we'll click Finish. And then we'll just verify that our Splunk instance is up and running. Cool, looks good. So now I'm going to launch the Tableau application. We'll just give it a moment here. Here on the left side, you can see there are different options for how to get data in, and one of these options is Splunk. You can also expand this list, and you can find Splunk here. Once you click on Splunk, you'll have to re-enter your Splunk login password. And so now on the left-hand side, you can see a list of the saved searches in Splunk. Users will only see the saved searches that they have access to so you can make sure users are not seeing anything they shouldn't. Since I've logged in as the admin user, I can see all of the saved searches in Splunk. Once you've identified the saved search you want to use, you drag it here into the Tableau window. And at first, it will just show you a preview of the metadata for this saved search. And once you're sure that this is the data you're looking for, you click Update Now, at which point all of the rows and data should populate here. Everything we're seeing here maps to what is available in Splunk. All the fields and values we're seeing are the results of the saved search. So this would be a good time to mention that the saved search will run whenever you pull up a visualization that is powered by Splunk. So now let's look at creating a visualization in Tableau with the data we pulled in with the OB ODBC driver. The saved search we pulled in has some sample flight data. We can look at the number of flights that happened between two cities by dragging the field names for origin city and destination city here into the Tableau worksheet. So first we'll look for the field corresponding to the destination city name and we'll drag that in. Next, we'll look for the field name corresponding to the origin city name and drag that in as well. And finally, look for the field name corresponding to the flights. And here it is, and we'll drag that in as well. And just like that, we are visualizing Splunk data in Tableau. So now you can change the visualization types to whatever you would prefer to see in Tableau. With the ODBC driver, you can now view your Splunk data in the context of your business data in Tableau and all without having to write new SPL searches. Now let's jump back to our slides to review the resources available to you to get started in your own environment.
Now that we have seen the ODBC driver in action, you can try it out by downloading the newly released and enhanced ODBC driver from Splunkbase. Please also check out Splunk Docs for step-by-step -step details to guide you through installation and getting started with your BI tool of choice. Now, I will hand things back over to Anna to talk through how to engage with the Splunk community to continue the conversation and a few survey questions. Thanks, Lizzie. As I mentioned before, whether you are joining us live today or watching this at a later date, please continue the conversation with us through our Splunk community website. And we really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to join us today. Thank you so much. Please tune back in for future Tech Talks. We're excited to share this series with you.